In this video, we will be studying about the characteristics of living things. See, there are uh, various characteristics of living things that are several living things move. See, plants do not move from one place to other, whereas several living things like your animals move from one place to another. Right, they move around in search of food or shelter or to escape from enemies. Their body parts move in different ways, like your hands move in different ways, your legs move in different ways, your eyes move in different ways. So, whereas if I say plants do not move around in search of food and shelter, they prepare their own food. But if I say a touch me not plant, have you ever seen a touch me not plant? Chui mu you say in Hindi. Go and touch that plant, it will contract its leaves when you touch the plant. So this is the movement within the plant. The movement is also visible in uh, these plants. Like if I say uh, the leaves of kachnar or the flowers of lotus, water lily or sunflower, the leaves of sunflower, petals of sunflower, all the things you will see that they are not moving from one another but they are moving at their own place. So several living things move. Second is all living things are made up of cells. All living things are made up of cells. See, do one activity, take a small peel of onion, okay, and see that onion through the microscope, you will see that the small, small cells, like this, small cells in the peel of onion, these are very small that you cannot see with naked eyes, you need to see under the microscope. So these are cells. See, all living uh, beings are made up of cells. Some plants living in water are called one cell or unicellular like amoeba, paramecium and many other animals are also made up of only one cell whereas human beings are made up of large number of uh, cells. So the bigger the animal, the greater the number of cells in them. So you have all living things are made up of cells. Third is living things grow. See, when you were born, you were very small. Then you, as year passes, you grow, you have grown such a big and after the year will pass, you will grow more big, right? So living things usually do not remain of the same size. They have increased in size as you have grown older. If you see a small puppy grows in, into a dog, and small seedlings grow into the plants many of them grow to become tall trees so all i can say is all living things grow fourth is living things have a definite lifespan have a definite life span one day everybody has to die each living organism is born it grows and then it dies so different organisms have different lifespan like bacteria if i talk about bacteria they have a lifespan of 20 minutes if I talk about lion, they can live only for 20 to 25 years. Then tortoise, they can live for 120 to 150 years. Human being, they live from about 60 to 80 years on an average. So this is the lifespan of a living thing so every living thing have a definite life span living things reproduce 
like some animals or human beings give birth to their new animals like themselves whereas if i talk about some birds or snakes spiders they lay eggs and after that legs egg get matured they are turned into the particular animal or the insect next is living things needs food see we all need food to live we all feel hungry we all need energy to grow to move and for other life processes that go inside our body so green plant make their own food but uh, and we are dependent on the green plants and animals for the food so every living things needs food living things excrete which means that living things throw some waste out of the body there are several processes going on inside our body such as di- digestion respiration etc during these processes some waste products are produced in our body they are removed from our body in the form of urine sweat or the roughage or the bowel similarly plants also excrete water vapors and carbon dioxide from small pores called stomata present in their leaves or stems so some harmful substances are also produced in plants or as waste so uh, we can say that every living thing excrete or every living thing throw give out some wasteful substances from themselves living things respire see as human beings you need oxygen you breathe oxygen plants they intake carbon dioxide right so carbon dioxide is produced as a waste in our body we intake uh, oxygen when you breathe out this carbon dioxide is expelled from your body along with the unused air so this process is known as respiration when you inhale and exhale this process is known as respiration so breathing in and out is a part of respiration so we all respire or we all breathe and last one is that your living things respond to stimuli living things respond to stimulus which means that you quickly withdraw see whenever you touch some hot vessel you quickly withdraw your hand the withdrawing of your hand is a response whereas the cause of this response is called the stimuli that is you can feel right you can feel this is hot you can feel this is cold you can feel this is air going around you so everything is touches you you have sensitive you can sense the things that is known as stimuli so that you can sense every living thing responds to stimuli i hope you have understood this do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us